Hi, and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Labushka here, and we are back with our base game Rags to Riches. Now, who is this? And why is she um, hanging around our place just in her underwear? This is real weird and not <laughs> exactly how I wanted to start this episode. Uh, we're going to disregard that. Now, this is the renovation I did of uh, Johnny and Valentino's house. Now, I kept it within budget, so we still have a little bit of money. Uh, it's not perfectly furnished. I did do a speed build. It is up on my channel. Um, I'm not great, like fantastic with speed builds. I've never kind of put one out publicly. I've done them before just for myself, but I've never put one uh, out on YouTube before. So I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, sorry, it wasn't perfect, but I don't think it was the worst either. That aside, I wanted to introduce to you our little new addition to the house. So while I was uh, taking some time off from recording, I've been a little bit unwell and still getting over it and just uh, had a lot of things going on in life. Um, while I was doing that, I added a new toddler to the household, so Brooke Vo Fox Zest. Now, I added her to the household in the same way that um, we did with India. I just kind of went into creator sim and combined um, genetics. I also gave um, Johnny a makeover and Valentino as well. So this is Johnny right here. We're still only using base game clothing and, you know, beards and hair and all of that stuff. But I gave them a makeover. I added Brooke because I had said I wanted to add another toddler. And India is actually about to age up uh, real soon. Um, oh, we set, we must be set on the long, long uh, lifespan at the moment. That must have been from a different uh, save file. But she is just about to age up, actually. So let's recheck that now. So yeah, two days that she's going to age up into a child. So I said I had wanted to add another toddler to the house after she ages up or just before she ages up. So that's what we've done. And where is Valentino? He is over here. Now we've given him a little bit of a beard. Um, his hair is not changed too much, um, so that's, that's, I don't know, less of a, it's a bit of a more mild makeover for him than for Johnny, who looks quite different to me anyway. Um, now, what we're going to do is we need to temporarily have two toddler beds. So there is an extra bedroom here. And I'm happy, like, if we want another kid later, we can also add another bedroom. Uh, sorry, we can also get them to share a bedroom if needed. Um, I have actually built, I finally finished building the new house for Johnny and for Valentino. But, oh, we should put, move objects on. But um, I'm not going to reveal it just yet. It's, I think I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> And I'm really with ha I'm really happy uh, with how it turned out. I was worried that being base game, it might not have a lot because it's been a long, really, really long time, many years, of course, since uh, we've only had base game, and I have like quite many of the packs, almost all of them. So um, there was a lot for me to kind of consider when I was deciding what kind of house I wanted to build because I wanted to make sure that there would be um, the correct items in the game that they could actually. Uh, you know, fulfill like the design of the house that I wanted. So I think that I succeeded quite well in doing that. And like I said, I'm very happy with how it turned out. We can just have the nesting blocks like here and we can actually put this in the bathroom since there is extra room. Um, so I'm not going to reveal that just yet. I didn't like record the build, so there won't be a speed build, but I am going to make a house tour video of that. So little Brooke here, um, she is of course a little blondie, so she's more like Johnny Zest. Now another thing that I have been thinking about is, oh my gosh, is she going to smash the dollhouse? Great. You know what though, that kind of works because we can get our Valentino to work on it. Now of course we've been working a lot on their careers, um, what we need to do is to, let's just 
came up with no message <laughs> is to earn money. Now, the problem is that the new house is about five times as much as the one that we have now. And we've got about, if we sell this house, we've got about 30-ish thousand. Um, we need like around 160 or just over 160 uh, to buy the new house. So it's it's quite a step up. And this will be like their, their dream house, their final house. So we need to work on getting more money. Now, I've been doing some reading. Of course, we've had the gardening going. I'm not happy with the amount of money that's been coming in. So I've really wanted to boost that. So what we're going to do is try and um, boost that, that income that we have coming in. So there's always writing. There is, of course, painting. And I was doing some reading that apparently uh, frogs are quite profitable. So... Oh, she's hugging the bears. So cute. Sisters. Can we can we hug or something? Like as sisters? That would be real nice. And she's just walking through the wall. How about we go babble? Um but yeah, apparently frogs can be quite profitable. So I think uh we're going to go and look for some frogs. And apparently they're in the ponds in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and in Sylvan Glade actually. Uh, there is a pond as well. So we'll get uh, probably Valentino to go out and hunt for some frogs. Aww, that's so cute. Now, I've also almost never bred frogs. So I don't know. Do you have to put it in your inventory in order to breed it? How does that work, actually? So let's just try that out. Because this is now, of course, we still want to work on the careers and things like that, the aspirations. But I feel like that's a lot easier to do when, oh, we can, let's breed a frog. Um, I feel like that's a lot easier to do when we can actually, you know, sort of stop focusing so much on the money. Like the money is important. Uh, and of course, all the other stuff's important too. But, so yeah, there's a cool down now. But, um, you know, like we've been focusing, as I said, heavily on those things, aspirations, and also on uh, the career. So now it's time to kind of focus on getting that money uh, a little bit. So let's check what's happening. Today is Saturday. It's Saturday evening. Uh, India's birthday is on Monday. Now, okay, Johnny has work tomorrow. That's fine. And yeah, Valentino doesn't have work until Monday. So what we'll do is take Valentino out to search for some frogs. And Johnny can just kind of hang around with the kids at home. Um, although we've added Brooke to the household, we're kind of going to have to uh, just like abandon her a little bit temporarily um, while we go out and, you know... Make some money, you know, it's so, I don't think that's reasonable. Like, you know, daddy's going to make some money so that we can have a nice house and buy you nice things and, you know, in real life, pay for your education and all of that stuff. So let's go and, uh, and work on that. Yeah. Okay. So I had some issues as well with, uh, disabling the packs for this let's play. Um, I haven't usually been getting these pop-ups. So if for some reason, um, this stops working like disabling the packs then what we're gonna have to do is probably just still keep this oh yeah look for frogs um still keep this as like i would like to keep this as a base game let's play because even the new house is going to be uh it's all base game there's nothing else i yeah i don't know like i, I would prefer not to just all of a sudden introduce all of the other packs so, he found a sunflower frog. Yay! Keep looking. Dirt frog. We're just going to cue this up and just get him to look for like frogs for, for a while. So, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know uh, whether there'll be any further issues with the packs or not. Oh, we found a leopard frog. Yes! Apparently, like from the three ponds, like this one, the one in Willow Creek Park, and the one in Sylvan Glade, like you can actually get pretty much 
um, quite a bit of the collection of frogs. Uh, I'm not really looking like to necessarily complete the collection here. I just uh, want money and apparently um, breeding frogs is like, you know, for the effort you have to put in, it's actually, oh, striped dirt frog. Yes. Uh, it's actually really minimal. So if you can make some like good combinations of frogs, then um, you can actually make quite a bit of money. So, I mean, I've been relying a little bit on the gardening. I think the gardening was fantastic at the start and we'll still kind of try and stick with it. But I don't think it's like the most profitable way, profitable way to go. So we might also want to try writing a couple of books, maybe doing some paintings as well. Oh, spotted heart frog. Yes. Um, so we are going to kind of change tactics a little bit because... I'm not in any rush to finish this Let's Play by any means, but I would like to sort of progress it along a little bit quicker, quicker or I was going to say a little bit more quickly um, or quicker. So then my, my words kind of got combined there. Okay, but we are going to travel to the Willow Creek Park. Let's look for some more frogs. So we've been collecting frogs for a little bit. His needs are getting a little bit rough. Let's just have a look at what frogs he collected. So he got a spotted eggplant frog, which is great. Striped leaf frog. Heart frog, not worth that much. I mean, none of these are really worth a lot. Apparently, if you... Can we just, like, sell all of these then? Like, if we multi-select, can we just get, like, 40? Yeah, we can sell those. Um, But apparently, if you, like, if you breed them and you get some of the more rare frogs then uh, they're worth a lot of money. You just kind of have to catch like a lot of the basic frogs and that first before you can um, then like start pulling in the money. But like anyway, what I read was that it's, you know, not a lot of effort for really like <laughs> the money that you can get. Whereas like writing a book or the paintings, like they can be quite, um, quite time consuming. So... We will sell those as well. Um, it will take us a while to get the money coming in, but I'm actually really okay with that. Like it's not, it's not that big a deal. It's just, as I said, like I would like to, whoops, I would like to get that uh, happening maybe just a little bit more quickly and to find some different ways of doing that rather than just relying on their incomes and on also <clears throat> on their um garden so okay oh we have two of these what's this striped dirt frog yes we will sell all right so let's head home so he really needs to take care of his needs we'll get him to you know eat go to the toilet all of that kind of stuff um i really oh that needs that needs a, a good clean. Uh, what do we switch to Johnny? Johnny, can you clean out the spoil food and then um, polish this to perfection, please? Now, the girls are going good here. Uh, she is actually really hungry. So let's fix that before she gets real cranky. And we also need some food cooked. Uh, grab this serving, sweetie. So Johnny, while he is here, why don't we get him to cook as well? What would the kids actually eat? I suppose once India is a, a child, it doesn't matter that much, but let's make just some bacon and eggs right now. So she is also feeling sad. Why? She needs amusement from low fun. Well, you also have this wonderful uh, Wabbit tablet that we, that we bought you. Is she going to eat or what about, okay, she has food in her inventory. Why though? Okay, she needs attention. Um, all right, Valentino is going straight to bed. He's like, you know what? I'll eat later. It's fine. And that actually is in a way good because it gives um, Johnny some time to like clean up and make some food and all of that. But the girls are not going too bad. How about, yeah, if we kind of give little Brooke a little bit of attention. For some reason, there are some errors coming up here. There's some glitches with like options not showing up. Um, I think this might have something to do with the error that occurred. Like I've, I usually have other packs like installed. I disable them just for this let's play and I've never had an issue before, but for some reason it started uh, creating issues. 
So uh, we might have to, yeah, we might actually have to just play like on normal. Um, the risk with that is I might accidentally kind of engage with, with, I don't know, actions or skills or activities that are not uh, base game. And that was really against the, the whole point of, actually, let's not do that one. That might take too long. That was really against the whole point of um, this let's play in the first place. So, hmm, she's still sad. Sweetie, why are you sad? Where is everyone from low attention? Well, why don't you come here? Talk to daddy. Talk about toys. Um, talk about favorite color. Now, my plan for today, today's Sunday in the game, is to uh, take Valentino to the pond at Sylvan Glade. Now, actually, while we're here, why don't we uh, breed some frogs? So, breed frog with, uh, what if we do a striped dirt frog? Okay, we already have one of those that's worth 30. Can I do any more breeding? Or like, no, you have to wait. Frog breeding is tiring. Okay. <laughs> um, well, Johnny could do some riding or I'm guessing, I kind of feel like Johnny's the like creative one with like the jokes, the music, the painting. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. And the painting. And uh, maybe Valentina could be the one to write books. I mean, he spends a lot of time on computers anyway, so he's kind of quite comfortable with that. So what we'll actually do though, we can afford an easel. So we will get one of those. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's an example of a glitch that just happened. I queued up a whole bunch of social interactions between India and Brooke so that India could talk to Brooke. And uh, she essentially walked past her, sat on the couch, and um, all of the interactions cancelled. Uh, and the same thing happened sort of just now. I queued up a whole bunch of interactions for Brooke to babble with India, and uh, they just all cancelled. So, um, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I'm making mental notes here of all the things that are kind of going a bit, uh, a bit whack. All right, we'll get Valentino up. He can actually do some cooking. I think he, he has, yeah, a higher, uh, cooking skill. He's only level four though, so we've still got a way to go. And what else can he make? I think the kids, the toddlers won't eat fish. Taco, ca taco casserole, spaghetti. Um, let's get the taco casserole. So we'll make a family ser serving of that. We'll also get him to socialize a little bit. Um, and then he can head off to Sylvan Glade. I do not remember <laughs> the, the way, like the selections that you need to get there, but, um, I'm sure we'll, we'll work it out, you know. <laughs> wow. Why isn't my clicking on these plants working? This is does seem to be actually bugged. I'm not sure why, but I am not enjoying it. Um, Johnny's going to head to work and we'll head, head off to a Willow Creek to the Forgotten Grotto. What? No, no, no. Stop. Change her diaper. What is going on here? Toddler care. Change diaper. Please, for heaven's sake, change her diaper. Or give her a bath. Okay. Okay. Also good. Uh, except she still smells, so this is useless. Right, okay. Change diaper. Change the diaper. Please change the diaper. I can't, I can't deal with this. Oh, Johnny's off to work. Okay, Johnny, enjoy your time at work. Yes, done? Okay, all right. Wow, that was painful. That was painful. All right, look, we're going to head out and... I was planning to record uh, at least one more episode after this and I think we are kind of being pushed here to uh, enable all the packs. I, I don't actually know what else to do. Hmm, why does this keep coming up? Okay, all right. Um, let's travel to Seven Glade. Oh, so what you, if you've already like successfully made it there, you don't have to go through those options again. That's actually really useful. Okay. Yes, I would. I would like to send him to Sylvan Glade. Um, can I also actually, I need to remember 
I'm sick of that pop-up already. I'm, I'm getting angry. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we have here? A spotted heart frog. Let's breed that with a striped dirt frog. And what is this worth? <gasps> it's worth a hundred. Yes, a dirt surfer frog. Yes, great. Great. Uh, let's go here and try to catch some more frogs. So let's take him home. He's done, he's caught like quite a few frogs now. And I'm really happy with this. But um, we could also head home and work on some programming. Okay. Yeah, we'll just sell these like uh, where there's a multiple frog. We'll do some programming and maybe if we could create some kind of like plug-in or something, that would be uh, pretty cool as well. Okay, so we have kind of a good portion of them like kind of about half seven out of 18 so not quite half but that's okay all right let's see let's see can we get any more frogs come on i mean this is really easy actually like it, it requires almost no effort on my part <laughs> except traveling to somewhere and queuing up uh look for frogs look at that 125 simoleons yes Yes, I am feeling this frog business. I had no idea. I've bred frogs before, but like I never really paid that much attention to it. And I didn't know that like some of them could actually be quite profitable. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll head home because we'll do some programming and maybe we'll also do some writing as well. Um, maybe. We have to sort of start somewhere. Okay, ignore the pop-up, ignore the pop-up. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we'll get him to, um, where's program? Program, um, make a plugin. All right, so make a plugin. His toilet needs are not that bad yet, so. Oh, sweetie, why are you so sad? Oh, left behind. Well, you know what? Luckily she's going to be. Yeah, look, it's almost her birthday, so she'll get over it. <laughs> um. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. Here, I have some taco casserole. Have some taco casserole. It's all good. Whoa, she is like fuming. Do you want to come hit Blaffy? I usually don't encourage the hitting, but I mean, I'm not sure why she's kind of so angry. She seems like she has a temper. I had open actually on my web page about which frogs you should breed together uh, to get like the really rare ones and to get the most money. Um, this is actually from uh, Carl's Sims 4 guide. So he had a really good table there of what you should, um, or what you could breed together to get like a more rare frog. Okay, so we don't have a sunflower frog, I don't think. We have a fart, heart, a fart, I was gonna say a fart frog. I correct myself and I apologize. A heart frog, a heart and a surf, Frog or surf an eggplant. We could do this. We could do this. A sun surfer frog we already have. Can I breed it with anything else though? Because it's already a rare frog. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So we have. Oh, we have a double one here. Let's get rid of that. All right. So striped eggplant. Can I breed that with anything? Or like was it eggplant and surfer? Oh, I do have a sunflower. Breed with a sunflower, a an eggplant, was it? I don't know, it's done now. It's done. So Oh, a sunflower frog. What? It's only worth 30. You don't have to wait for the cooldown for that. Fine. <laughs> um Valentino Spline Reticulation plugin is second to none. He has earned 31 from sale proceeds. That's great, uh, but we could get you to actually um, make some more money. So, write a children's book. Oh, no, no, sorry, you need to go to the toilet. I'm, I'm real bad. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay. Let's get him to do that. Then he can write. Um, India is still kind of sad from being left behind. She'll go to the potty. She's going to age up tomorrow anyway. So like, I'm not particularly fussed about keeping track of where she's at right now because she's yeah going to age up real soon anyway. And maybe we'll get her to do that from like the beginning of the day so we can um, 
pat the badger. No, how about is it is it like plagiarism if I do postman pat? Um, no, we'll do Matt the what's an animal starting with M? Uh, Matt the monkey. There we go. Okay, put our own spin on that. All right, so oh, phone. Who's calling? Bella Gotha would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I mean, I guess, because actually the girls can spend some time socializing with her. Johnny is home from work. He is hungry. So get some leftovers. Uh, I think there was spoiled food in there, apparently. Uh, where is that? Um, the taco casserole is fine. Everything actually seems fine. So, again... Is this a glitch? I don't see where the spoiled food is. Uh, yeah, so there seems to be some kind of glitch. Like, I also, Johnny just queued up for him to take a shower twice now. And, uh, he just, like, won't do it. Did he take a bath? Yeah, cool. So I asked him to take a shower twice. He didn't do it. And then he just decided to take a bath. So, guys, I think this is going to be technically the end the end of our base game rags to riches look i do have some mods installed but like they before i disabled any packs they didn't have any issue with any of my other um let's plays or any of my like private save games so this is really unprecedented now we'll get johnny to bake a cake because india is going to be aging up like real soon oh winter cake what is a winter cake? I mean, that's, that looks really good, but can you put candles on it? I actually don't know. Uh, Valentino can now self-publish books. So he's still writing that book, actually. Oh, can we? Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to pause again. I'm still going to talk, but I'm going to go back to the web and see what it was. Eggplant and surf frogs. Yes. Or a sunflower and surf frog. Okay. Let's go eggplant and surf. Eggplant and surf. Do we have those ones? Um, okay, let's press play so that they can continue doing their stuff here. Eggplant and surf. Where are you guys? Eggplant. Okay. Breed with. Sunflower. Do we have a surf frog? We have a dirt surfer frog. A sun surfer frog. Can I breed it with that? What happens if I do? What did it make? Oh, it just made a sunflower frog. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> I guess we need to we need to work on this uh, this breeding business a little bit more and uh, and understand the technicalities of how this works. Okay. Oh, oh, look at this. No, Johnny, don't don't do anything else. Can you <gasps> add birthday candles? Oh wait, it's not okay. All right, it's almost it's almost. Just go here so you don't eat the cake. It's almost twelve. Okay. Okay. Technically, then, guys, it is it is India's birthday. She's gonna age up. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this moment. Okay. Um, help blow out candles. India Fox Zest. And Valentino finished his first book, um, which he needs to... He can self-publish it, I think, in the mail. So, uh, self-publish. Matt the Monkey. Okay, bye. Bye, Bella. It was actually really nice to have her over. Um, I haven't really ever had any of my sims, like, have a close relationship with her, so that's quite nice. And this winter cake looks very interesting. <gasps> okay. All right, childhood, boundless creativity, rule-breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. So, I guess she got these bonus skills. So, she starts at level one, uh, motor, mental, creativity, which is, like, practically from the bottom anyway um and social skill is two okay so she was fussy let's randomize and hope we get something good oh oh she's a perfectionist nice um so should we make her have the mental the whiz kid or is she more like motor skills i feel like she's kind of more motor skills so let's give her that one and uh she has Oh, she has no hair. I mean, that kind of doesn't make sense because, like, before she did have hair. So, <laughs> uh, let's, um, let's plan outfits. 
And we'll have to give her uh, a child's bed as well. Don't, sweetie, don't go outside to daddy. Uh, Valentino also published his books. All right, come on. Okay, here is a perfect example of a glitch. So she came up as having no hair, yet we go into create a sim and she has hair. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to leave her um, kind of really quick makeover until the next episode. And we will, yes, I want to cancel. Um, we will, at the start of the next episode, we'll give her a quick makeover. We'll also buy her some like kids things. Uh, and maybe put her into a, a separate room over here so get some floorboards and some wallpaper and stuff like that. Um, but for now, I guess I'm going to leave it here. Unfortunately, as I said, this is technically going to be... Um, I mean, I want it to be base game. I don't know what it's going to be called after this because of the issues with tech I'm having. But... Um, we'll we'll see <laughs> so uh anyway thank you for watching and i will see you next time on our rags to riches or for our rags to riches gameplay